Did you know you can create Java classes inside an Oracle database and call them from inside your procedures function select and update? With this incredible feature, you can make your PLSQ code even more powerful. It's way simpler than you imagine. First, you have to create your Java class with your method. To do that, use the command create and compile Java source. If that class already exists, it will raise an error. To avoid that, we also use the or replace option. Use the keyword named to give a name to your class, and then you can proceed to code any Java program that you need. In our example, we only create a method to return a hello world string. Now that your Java class has been created inside Oracle, you will need to wrap it with a function. This function will be your bridge between your PLSQ code and your Java method. Just use the command create or replace functions, give it a name, and use the return keyword. Define the type of data that your function will output. The data type has to be the same as the class method. If your Java method returns text, your function has to return text too. Now, inside the function, you use the command language java name to call your class and method, once again specifying the type string. And that's all for today. Till next time.